I got kicked out of Zwift about uh, one minute to the start. So I had to uh, log back in and I'm very thankful for the feature that lets me join a right late. Wow. So we are live. This is a Zwift Academy women's workout. Base is two watts per kilogram to start. Let's get up to speed as a peloton. So we get the group up to speed together. Okay. Welcome everyone. We're studying with an easy pace so we can regroup. We have a couple of riders ahead and a couple behind. So I just ask everybody to regroup. Hey, Amy. Hey, Mitchell. Thanks for joining. Yeah, so I got kicked out of Zwift. Got back in. So today is a climbing workout. Climbing workout. So we're gonna hold 2.2 watts per kilogram. Leader is not gonna chase. So uh, the beginning here, let's take it steady. I think we're starting to regroup now. So today is going to be two laps of the uh, London Loop. Which means we're going to be doing Box Hill twice. So the goal is to work on our climbing skills here. And once we get close to it, I'll give some more instructions.
warming up now. Steady here. Steady on the hills for now. We're at 2.4. Let's take it down a little bit. Keep it steady for everyone. So, when we get to Box Hill, what we're going to do, we're going to hold 80% of FTP up Box Hill. So if you don't know your FTP or if you don't work with power, that will be on a scale of 1 to 10, let's say 7 or 8 perceived exertion for how hard you'll be working. Nice group here today. So just telling everyone what I just said, we'll be holding 80% of FTP on Box Hill. We have a couple of people on Facebook. Thanks for joining, for watching. I almost hit the bus stop, Janice. That's funny. My avatar is acting up. <laughs> So the key of going uphill smooth pedaling and cadence a relaxed upper body Let the legs do the work. So naturally we might separate. Then we can regroup at the end. So we can regroup at the uh, QOM banner. After that, there's a very small, steeper incline, another bump, and we can go there on that one together. It's 
So working on keeping your cadence. Let's target. So no lower than 65 RPMs. Let's see if we can work with that. Going up the hill. Here we go. Start shifting your gears. avoid surging again just trying to keep steady find a gear that works for you I'm not <laughs> hey Dave how's it going Christina I am not sock doping tonight. Just steady up. So the key is when you have an event that takes you on long hills, so you have 10, 15, 20 minute climbs, and it's a long event, it's not a race, you want to pace yourself up the hill, keep the pressure on. Don't let your RPMs go too low, especially at a 5% incline, like the one we have right now, 7.6% grade. So I told everyone to be targeting tempo for the duration here. It's about 9 to 10 minutes up the hill. I'm keeping my power below tempo so I can be in the middle of the group. And I look at everyone's part of weight. Fairly steady, which is good to see. So of course the power to weight for each rider will depend on their FTP and their weight. For a lot of people, Tempo would be around two and a half to three watts per kilogram if they've been riding for a while. I'm keeping in the middle so I can stay with the group.
side up. Keeping that constant pressure on the pedals. My cadence is at around 70. Which is definitely a climbing cadence. Not super steep. Can pick it up a little more now. We have some stronger riders at the front. At 2.7 watts per kilogram. I'm keeping right in the middle. Some at the back at around 2.4. So again, Zwift Academy, women's workout. We're climbing Box Hill twice today. Around 10 minutes or so, depending on how fast people are going. And we regroup at the top. <laughs> Dave, I'm jealous. You're already having dinner there, and we're working hard here. Actually, I'm not jealous. This is fine. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We have about 25 riders today joining the workout. The Zwift Academy workouts have been a big success. For those of you not familiar with Zwift Academy, it will start officially September 1st. But before then, there are several workouts during the week for everybody to join. Any female riders on Zwift, you don't have to be enrolled in the academy to join these workouts until September 1st. So we already have four riders at the top of Box Hill who cross the banner. I'm just asking them to slow down and regroup.
There's quite a bit of a gap, which is natural. Riders will naturally split up going up the hill, considering different par to weight ratios. So right now, I'm not putting out a lot of power. I am tired though from my workout this morning. All right, so we have some finishers at eight, nine, and 10 minutes. So if you went up Bucks Hill already, let's take your power down. I have, I have one rider here who lost signal. And she can't see anyone. I told her to keep pedaling. That might come back. I see Kristen Kutronis, my teammate from ODZ. There we are, crossing Box Hill. So there's a little hill right after Box Hill, which I'm approaching right now. And I told riders when they hit that to go as hard as they can as an additional challenge. Again, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait for a couple of our riders from the back. Swift Academy Women's Workout. We're climbing today. Taking it easy here at top of Box Hill. Hey Adriana, thanks for joining. You're gonna be next in Zwift. I'll help you get set up. Then we get to ride together. All right, taking it easy on the downhill here.
we'll see if we can gather some writers to do a regroup. We're not going to be able to regroup with everyone just because there's a big split. And that was expected coming in. It is a 10 minute climb. People will be riding at different rates, so. We had Kristen join in mid-ride. That was awesome. I think she joined in right when we were at Box Hill. She's my teammate from Timo DZ. She's nine seconds ahead of me though. All right. So you can still read the cues and follow along, even if we're not all with the beacon. And if you're joining us on Facebook now, this is a Zwift Academy women's workout. Got my gears here. Everybody loves this incline out of the subway. Uh oh. The right is saying they can't see power or group stuff on the right hand side. Looks like her cat stepped on something. Those are the things when you're Riding indoors at home. For those of you who are on Facebook, if someone would please let me know if uh, the streaming is still coming through. On my screen, it's showing it's frozen. All right, everyone, we have riders about 30 seconds ahead. Thank you, Wendy. Thanks, Kristen. Kirsten, sorry. Thank you. Okay, cool.
So let's see if we can get a mini group here. Anyone else get husband asking how long the fish cake takes to cook? <laughs> this is one of the writers here. That's what happens when you're on a trainer at home. <laughs> you have the cat stepping on things. You have your husband coming over and saying, oh, okay, I'm happy to prepare dinner, but how long do I cook this fish for? <laughs> That's funny. All right, so. We're back at 2.2 watts per kilogram. How was that climb, everyone? So, five, five being easy, seven, hard, or ten, very hard. See what the group thinks. Hey, Victoria. She's still working on her iPad. <laughs> so this is just one of the many Zwift Academy workouts available during the week. Okay, so we have one rider saying the climb was five and a half, that, so that means it was fairly easy then for her. Let's see if we get some more feedback. Then I'll give the rider some instructions here on what to do the second time around. Comfy tempo. Okay. Just instructing everyone to keep the cadence at 80 RPMs or higher now. That helps flush out lactic acid and the burn that you feel after going up the hill. <laughs> Victoria is saying, well, if she thinks climbing is easy, you, you're probably young and fit. That's probably true. Especially a 10 minute climb. Oh, we have somebody with a kicker acting up. All right, so if this was easy for you. So if, that, if the uh, first time around the box hill was not so hard for you, you have a chance to go harder now. So you can start at 80%. So 
So I'm giving the option here. If writers want to work a little harder, you can start box two at 80% and build from there. So let's say every minute or two minutes, you can increase by five watts until you get to about 95% of your FTP at the top. And then at the top, you can do a run for a QOM or a PR. The other option I'm giving riders is you can do sweet spot, steady, the whole climb at 90%. I'm just taking pictures of the group. Love it. <laughs> right? Here we go. Gotta use the features. So this is our second lap. <laughs> That's right. We're all wearing the same jersey with different socks. <laughs> Making our way to Box Hill again. Group is just a bit split up. Again, they can still hear my cues. Not hear, but um, read my cues on the screen. Zwift Academy Women's Workout. Next week, this might be a different ride. We'll certainly have something here at the same time on Tuesday, every week. Last week we did some sprints. The week before we did a group ride for an endurance type ride, steady state. So it changes up every week or every two weeks. That way we keep things fresh. We get different types of workout with the group. All right, if that first climb at Box Hill was hard with the 80% of FTP, I'm recommending riders to do the same thing for the second time around. And of course, it will still be challenging for them, which is the goal. We're here doing a workout. Of course, if you have injuries or something is bothering you or knee, then it's different. But otherwise, push through it. And then, if that was easy, 
or on the easier side if you have more in the tank bring that up bring that up to 85% 90% of FTP Hola Luz Andrea thank you for tuning in Saludos desde Colombia gracias a ti también I've been in Colombia two years ago. In fact, it's one of the best places to ride your bike. The hills are amazing. The mountains. Challenging terrain, beautiful lands, beautiful views. Just beautiful country overall. Here we go. Getting close to Box Hill again. I'm going to switch into an easy gear pretty soon here. My goal is to guide the riders here through the workout. I'm going to keep my power fairly low and steady so I can do the talking. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So I see some of the riders going second time around a little bit harder, which is great. Bringing up to 3.2, 3.5, even 4 watts per kilogram. And if you can't hold that power all throughout, you could alternate. So another option would be even to do 80% for a minute and a half, then do a surge at 100% of FTP, and go back to that 80% and repeat. The group is uh, together now. Study up the hill. So I did a workout similar to what I just recommended right now, this morning. 
which was tempo with surges, 80%, alternating with, it was actually 135, 140%. All right, these ladies are doing amazing here. Rainy London. We still have some riders at three and a half, three point eight watts per kilogram. I like to see that. Many at two point five. Three watts per kilogram. Nice work. Maybe some writers want to try to get a personal record here. They could push at any point, perhaps in the last two minutes. If you're just joining us on Facebook, this is Zwift Academy Workout. We're climbing at Box Hill today. Group is strong. We're separated because we have uh, obviously different speed according to power. Group is putting out nice effort here. Don't give up. It burns, but it's temporary. So I'm suggesting that after the banner, 
for that very last hill. So I'm telling riders, once they pass the uh, QOM banner, go as hard as you can so you can drain your tank and you can take the rest of the ride as a cool down. Nice efforts, look at that. Some riders keeping up above three and a half watts per kilogram. But everybody challenging themselves nevertheless. We have 3.9 miles to go here. Almost at the top of Box Hill. Oh, we have candy on the right as well. Great to see you. Jessica York. Hey Todd. Thanks for watching. All right, getting at the top here. I love how the camera switches around. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So there's one last hill coming up. Short and steep. And that's the one I told the ladies to uh, try and go as hard as they can. Perhaps to take a bit of a breather. Personal best. Yay! Congrats. It's great when that happens. There are days when everything clicks on the bike. You're strong, your legs are fresh. Powder is not so much. The important thing is that you're being consistent with your training. After all, we're not machines. We'll have better days, right? And days that aren't so great. But if you stick to it, you will continue to get better and stronger. So that was the last hill. Now we get to go downhill. <laughs> I 
We still have some riders coming through. So I think the ride is gonna, once we hit the banner, is when we're done. You can take this. Take the last few miles as a cool down. And you can decide if you want to keep at 2.2 watts per kilogram, if you want to go a little harder. But it's good to spin the legs again after going up the hill at low RPMs. You want to have your cadence high, flush things through, get rid of the waste, all of that lactic acid, clear that up, set you up for a go cool down here. That's right. It really is a privilege to be able to work out, work hard, build your strength, keep healthy, hang out with a great group here. And up the subway we go. I'm in cooldown mode already. Everybody taking it easy now to the end. Thank you so much, Kirsten. It's great to have you. My first Swift group ride. Hey, that's awesome. Thank you so much for joining. So we're towards the end here of the Swift Academy climbing workout. We had about 
25, 30 riders today. Everybody working hard. It's a great group. So much fun to be leading these rides. On Mondays, if you're looking for a recovery ride or a more steady, steady pace ride, join the Chat and Chill. It's a ride where we hold one and a half to two watts per kilogram. And we're on Discord, chatting, talking about training, nutrition, Zwift, group rides, anything the group wants to talk about. That one is also live streamed. Have a great day and evening, everyone. Thank you for joining. My friends on Facebook, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be back next Tuesday with another Zwift Academy workout. And there's our finish line. Awesome work, ladies. Thank you for joining. I will see you next time.